Today, we're going to take that friction from brain into system, and we're going to squish it. And the way we're going to do this is using AI and voice notes. Just record a quick voice memo on your phone or computer and have it automatically show up on your to-do list, calendar, or email. Magic. Under the hood, this is what we're going to build. Capture a voice memo using JotForm. Transcribe the audio using ChatGPT. Then use ChatGPT to extract key information from the text. We're then going to send the information to a different path, depending if it's a task, event, or an idea. Tasks will get added to our Asana to-do board. Events will get added to our calendar. And ideas are going to get emailed to ourselves using Gmail. This tool is legit useful, but it's also inspiring. It points to ways that we can start putting AI to work for us using Zapier. All right, let's get building. The first thing we're going to do is build the voice memo capture form. Uh, for this, we're going to use JotForm, which is a free account. You're going to create a form, start from scratch, classic form, give it a title, bring in a widget for voice recording. And this is why we're using JotForm, because this widget is really nice. It can capture audio from a smartphone, from your computer, whatever. But there's only one property we're going to define, which is the recording limit. These are 60 second voice recording clips. Uh, the other element we're going to add is a single choice field. And what this is just defining the type of voice memo we're recording. Uh, so this is ready to publish. Boom, we've got it. We've got a link that we can open up in a new tab and here is our voice memo. Now I'm gonna record three test records. Get webinar video to Matt by November 7th. And that is a task. Company all hands meeting on Wednesday at noon. And that is an event. Idea, what if we combined a pre-recorded webinar with an AI chatbot, both on the same page. And that's gonna be our idea test record. Lastly, we're gonna uncheck this box. This allows the Zap to access the uploaded voice memos, even when we're not in the JotForm interface. Now that we've got our form, it's time to start building our Zap. We are going to go to our Zap Your Home, click Create, and Zap. Now we could use Copilot to flesh this out with AI, but we're gonna build it from scratch. And our trigger is going to be JotForm. And our triggering event is going to be a new submission. And for account, I'm going to use my personal JotForm account. We're gonna test the trigger and it should pull in three test records. Submission A, B and C. Great, let's start with submission A. And we can see that this is a task. So it's gonna be something that we're gonna wanna route to Asana. Now our first action in this app is to create a transcription of the audio file that comes from JotForm. So we're going to use ChatGPT for that. And there are a lot of really cool event options here, but we are going to use create transcription. I'm going to connect it with my Zapier ChatGPT account. And the first and most important question here is, okay, where's the audio file? And for this, we're going to look up the audio file that's pulled in from our trigger. So here it is. Here's the voice recording. I'm going to click continue. Now we're going to test the step. And this should give us a transcription of the voice memo. Get webinar video to Matt by November 7th. There we go. Now that we have a written transcript of our voice memo, it's time to take that unstructured transcript and extract key variables from it that we can then use in later steps in our Zap. And again, we're gonna be using ChatGPT for this. And we're going to be feeding it the transcript, and we're also going to feed it today's date. And for today's date, we're going to use the zap 
meta human now variable, which just creates a variable for whatever day and time it is at this moment. For model, we're going to choose one of the latest ChatGPT models, uh, 4 Mini. And in terms of a description, we're just going to say, please extract variables from the provided voice memo transcript. Now comes the real power where we define the variables. So the first variable we're going to define is name. And for this, we're going to define name as the name of the event. Let's do it in task, event, or idea in the transcript. And then the other variable we're going to create is date. And for the date variable, we're going to add a fairly long description. This is going to be just guidance. So like for today's date, use today's date to provide context. For example, Thursday of next week would be Thursday of the week after the today's date value. And add time of day or time ranges if they're provided. So if 5 to 9 p.m. is mentioned, include that in the response. Uh, and then we're also going to include some examples of the sort of output we're looking for. These outputs are ultimately going to go into Google Calendar, which does a great job of uh, digesting naturally described dates and times. Uh, if we need a different format, like month slash day slash year, we could include that syntax here. And then we're going to click continue. Now, when we test with our test record, it should. Great, gives us November 7th. And the name is Git Webinar Video to Matt. Perfect. All right, so now we've taken the voice memo, created a transcript, and extracted structured data from that transcript. We're now ready to actually route the data to the task management system, the calendar, to the email. And the way that we're going to do that is with paths. Um, paths allow you to have a choose your own adventure story based upon various conditions. So our first path is going to be task leads to Asana. Our second path is going to be event lead to calendar. And then we're going to add a third path, which is idea to email. And now it's a matter of setting up the conditional logic for these paths. So this first one will only continue when the answer type includes the word task. The second one where it contains event and the third that will only continue when the answer type contains email. So that's just a matter of setting up the tasks to Asana, events to calendar, and idea to email. So first we're going to do task to Asana. So our event is going to be to create a task and connect it to my account, click continue, so our, our workspace, we use the Zapier workspace. This is my personal project. And we're not going to add it to a specific section. Uh, the due date type, uh, we'll leave that and do at. And this is where we're going to pull in the information from our structured data, the date. And then in terms of name, this is where we're going to pull in the name variable. And for our description, I'm just going to pull in the raw transcript in case there's any more details there that I would want to find. All right, so we'll go ahead and test. And when I go into Asana, I see the task name, get webinar video to Matt, with the due date has been added. And if we get into the details, it has the full transcript from the voice memo. Awesome. The next thing we're going to add is our calendar event. In this case, I'm going to move to our next test record, which you can remember it is a calendar event. So we're going to continue with that selected record. 
we'll go through the ChatGPT step and we'll, we'll test it. And we got the transcript and next we will test the extraction of data. So we get the extraction company all hands meeting as the name. The date is Wednesday, the sixth at noon. It is not going to continue down this path, but instead it's going to continue down this path. So here we're going to test the filter. It would have passed. So we're going to create this event in Google calendar. So that's our app. Our event is quick add event and the account's going to be my account. Now the calendar, I'll do my work calendar and describing the event. I'm just going to pull in the event name and a space and then the date and if applicable the time. And we're going to test and go into my calendar. And here we have the company all hands meeting added for noon. All right. Now the last action we're going to set up is to email ourselves. So I'm going to pull in the new test record related to the email. That was this one. We're going to go ahead and test it with the new test record. Then we're going to extract from the transcript just a name. Combine a pre-recorded webinar with the AI chatbot. All right, and now we're going to try it with this path. And in terms of app, we're going to, you know, we could use Gmail, we could use email by Zapier, Outlook. We're going to go ahead and use G Gmail, and it's going to be send an email. I'm going to use my Zapier account. Continue. The two is going to be my own email address and the subject is going to be the name. And then the body, I'm just going to pull in the entire transcript in case it's a longer memo and there's some value in there. And I'm going to send that. I'm going to test it. And there we go. Combine a pre-recorded webinar with an AI chatbot. And I've got the larger transcript here. Success. Everything is looking good, so I'm going to go ahead and publish. I'm going to give this a name so it helps me keep my zaps organized. And this will be ideas into action. There you have it. We've created a tool that quickly turns your ideas into action. Now, this is useful for personal productivity, but it also highlights the power of AI to build smarter, more powerful workflows on Xavier. We are in a whole new world of possibilities, and we cannot wait to see what you build next.